Before I quit, I was pretty decent at Fortnite competitive. Made 3.15k earnings and was top 80 PI in OCE for most of my career. It was such a long journey, constantly trying to figure out what worked through trial and error. So what I want to do today is take my four years of experience and tell you exactly what I would do to go pro again if I started from zero earnings and zero PR. For the first few seasons, my focus would be almost entirely on solos. Yes, I get teammates for FNCS, duo cash cups, and whatnot, but most of my mental energy and practice will be going into solos. This is because solos are ruthless. If you suck at the game, you will do bad and learn the hard way. And this is especially good because in solos, you have to be good at everything. Rotates, map conservation, fighting, aiming, everything. So what solos will do for me is build up a good foundation of basic skills, fundamentals, and self-confidence. And to practice solos, I would keep it simple. Play solo ranked, keying every single person and I see until solo scrims are on, play those and then VOD review them. After many years of trying to figure out the best practice possible, it always came back to these simple things. Wasting a lot of time and mental energy on creative maps and all these weird things might not be the end of the world, but I wouldn't even bother worrying about them and just put all my focus into getting the most out of the basics possible. Now, after a couple seasons getting a few good solo placements, I take my foot off the gas in terms of solos and move my focus more towards actual FNCS. Getting an okay teammate doesn't really matter who they are they just have to be as dedicated as me in terms of getting on for every single scrim wasting time swapping teammates all the time just because they didn't feel like the right fit is something i would never ever put myself through again the best thing to do is get comfortable with a dedicated teammate so you never have to worry about that getting used to each other stage again therefore just always playing at your peak performance in scrim slash tournaments so you can learn what mistakes you make at the peak of your performance performance which is actually what's going to make you better. Also first of all I am still playing every single solo cash cup and tournament at this stage in my career but now my average day is probably looking like 2v2 wages with my duo, duo scrims and then VOD reviewing those scrims. After getting confident fighting and solo ranks by myself I want to start improving my confidence and fighting skill to the next level with these wages and with the scrims my goal would just be to constantly work my way up as high as possible getting into the hardest scrims possible until I'm finally in the top level pro scrim discord of my region. And at this point I would say I'm entering pro level. It's actually so much more simple than you believe it to be, but it just takes a lot longer and is a lot harder to do than what you believe. From beginner to pro could easily take two plus chapters even while knowing what the best thing to improve is. So put your head down and get to work on those basics. It's a long journey from here on out. You've just made it through the entire video so you clearly want to go pro Fortnite, meaning you might be interested in an hour long one on one private coaching session with me where we go over exactly how you can go pro from where you're currently at in your Fortnite career. Just click the link in the description for more info.